Hey, welcome to On The Bench. I'm your host, Nick Smith. On today's show, we're gonna show you how to get the most out of your TriCaster by adding another output. Let's put it on the bench and see what's inside. Okay, so you've got your TriCaster and you've probably run out of ports on it. Inputs, outputs, whatever they may be, you're out of room, but you've got a director who's saying to you, I wanna watch camera one, or I wanna watch the mix, but I wanna watch it from somewhere else in the building. Well, let me show you how you can pull that off. Now, if you're not familiar with NDI, that's a new tech streaming protocol they released a while back, and it's very powerful. And it's built into every system that new tech makes. So all you have to do is get the right tools now to use NDI. So let's start with the NDI monitor. This is a simple way to grab any NDI feed on the network and put it up on a computer screen or on a monitor. So if we grab our NDI video monitor, notice here right away we've got the option to look at every source that's on the network. Any video source that's streaming through a TriCaster or through another NDI device, we have access to it. Now if that producer's sitting in the green room and they don't have a monitor in there, um, but they wanna see what's coming out of the TriCaster, all they gotta do is pick up the TriCaster choose one of the inputs or one of the outputs, select it, and within seconds, they've got video of whatever is going through that source. So in this case here, I'm seeing my own feed go back through the TriCaster as it's getting prepared to go out on the stream. It's a very simple tool, it's a very simple application, and anybody can do it. So get online, download the NDI video monitor, and start showing your producers how they can stay in their office and stay out of the way. All right, that's our show for the day. Thank you much, and we'll talk to you again soon.